everyone, welcome to the Quest to Mage, and welcome back to another No Man's Sky video for the Nintendo Switch. In today's video, I'm going to be going through the patch notes for version 4.44 of the Echoes update. So please sit back, relax, click like, subscribe, and hopefully enjoy. Here we go. Since the Echoes update, which is version 4.4 on Nintendo Switch, I have very much been enjoying all the new content that this update brought to the Nintendo Switch. After version 4.4, we've had version 4.41, 4.2, and 4.3, which unfortunately have not been made available for the Nintendo Switch. So imagine my surprise when I checked to see if there was an update yesterday for No Man's Sky on Switch, and I saw this. Echoes 4.44 is now available on Switch. Not 4.1, not 4.2, not 4.3, but 4.4. So let's go through some of those patch notes at least the ones that are relevant to the Nintendo Switch. Please bear with me as there are two pages worth of these patch notes, so let's get right into them. Firstly, Sentinel capital ships are now equipped with shield generators that must be destroyed before their hull can be damaged. I'm assuming that's a good thing. I still haven't gone against any of these Sentinel capital ships. If you have, please let me know in the comments. Is it good? Is it not good? How does it run on Switch? Next is improved the visual effects for Sentinel capital ship. Weapons. Always good to have visual updates for the Switch. Fixed an issue that prevented the warp out effect from correctly playing on the Pirate Dreadnought. Added new Pirate Freighter warp effects. So it's good that they're fixing effects that weren't there and adding new ones on top of that. Fix some minor collision issues on the Pirate Freighter. Were there many issues with this? Again, I will rely on you, the viewer or listener. Let me know down in the comments. Fixed an issue causing some low priority missions to appear on the Galaxy map. So I thought it was interesting to see this here. Have you encountered any low priority missions to appear on the Galaxy map? Is this a bad thing? I don't know. You think that it will be better to allow the player to have an option to show which icons they want to see on the map or not. But hey, it says issue causing low priority missions to appear on the galaxy map so there you have it again i just think more options would be better fix an issue causing pirate titles not to unlock so that's definitely a good thing to fix if people are going through effort then they should be rewarded for it now here's an interesting one salvaging the atlanted multi-tool now awards void moats i haven't even tried to salvage an atlanted multi-tool yet but i will be trying it especially now that we should be getting void moats for it i want how many we will be getting per multi-tool and does that scale up with the class of the multi-tool guess i'm gonna have to wait and see fix an issue that prevented barrel rolling during warp now i've tried to do this several times and the barrel roll doesn't work for me on nintendo switch when i'm warping so i'm gonna try that as soon as i get a chance because i'm pretty sure we all want to do barrel rolls during warp Fix some untranslated pirate names in empty systems. Okay, I guess that's a good thing. Fix an issue that caused Viking pirates to act as if they were Gek in very specific circumstances. That's a very interesting sentence right there. So there was an issue that caused Viking pirates to act like they were Gek. What does that actually mean? How would you actually denote if the pirates were Gek or Viking? I'm assuming they're talking about outlaw systems where you can actually see the character models where one is Viking or Gek. If not, a little bit confused what that means. A little bit vague, in my opinion. Fixed an issue that caused autophage missions to repair. This is a bit of a weird sentence. Let's try that again. Fixed an issue that caused autophage missions to repair lost heads to become blocked if the head in question had already been repaired. Take a deep breath. That is a little bit of a weird sentence. I don't really understand what that means. So there was an issue that caused an autophage mission to repair lost heads to become blocked if the head in question had already been repaired. Ah, so there's an item that if you interacted with the item before you got the mission, it would break it and now that's been fixed. Okay, well, two thumbs up. That's a really good thing. I don't know why it took me so long to figure that out. Fixed an issue that could cause floating drone heads to be loaded as freighter workers in place of Corvax entities when warping your freighter to an empty system. What? Fix an issue that could cause floating drone heads to be loaded as freighter workers in place of Corvax entities when warping your freighter into an empty system. Oh, I see. So in your freighter, if you have Corvax entities, these will be replaced with floating drone heads. Well, you don't want that. That will be a little bit creepy. So it's a good thing that they fixed that. Excellent. Let me know if you had that issue and let me know if it's been fixed. I still stay away from freighters on Nintendo Switch because they seem to cause quite a lot of problems for some players. 
Next in page two, fixed an issue that could prevent progress in the Voyager's expedition milestone to find a specific creature. Now that's not good. Good thing that's been fixed. We don't want any problems like that, especially during expeditions which are timed. So uh, good work there. Hopefully that's been fixed. When crafting items, players are now alerted if they have the right ingredients. But those items are in an inaccessible... What weird sentences? When crafting items, players are now alerted if they have the right ingredients, but those items are in an inaccessible inventory. That's really good, because I noticed with this patch when I'm at my base and I'm trying to create something, there was no visible indication that I had said ingredients in any storage. So hopefully this has brought an alert into the game, which lets you know, hey, you do have X items in your storages, just not with your character at the minute. This was would be a really really good update hopefully they have fixed that fixed an issue that could cause autophage staff assembly to choose an incorrect seed for subsequent creations after cancelling out of the preview of the assembled staff now not too happy if they fix what I think they're fixing because I was going to make a video about this but this would make that redundant so I might not be uploading that video after all when creating a staff, you apply the three items to actually create it and it applies a color to that staff. If you try to assemble it and then you back out of assembling it and then remove the top of the staff and then replace it, it will change the color, which I thought was actually pretty cool. Another thing that I noticed is if you backed out of that completely, go in and out of your ship and then go back to reassemble your staff, it would cycle another set of colors, which was really good. I thought that was really handy and that's how I got my staff. It seems that they have, as they're saying it, fixed that issue. I didn't think that was an issue at all. I thought that was pretty cool, but looks like that might be gone. So uh, don't know if I like that one. Anyway, moving on. Fix an issue that could cause the players to do damage to themselves when using the multi-tool. Well, that's not good. Glad they fixed that. I didn't have that. So good thing that's been fixed. And now finally to the last few bullet points left. Fix the performance regression related to mesh rendering. Good, 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 good. Anything to do with mesh rendering or memory leaks, any fixes to do with that are all welcome, especially on the Switch. So great, great stuff. Fix the hang related to loading missions. Thumbs up. Fix a crash related to the HUD. Well, that's a little bit weird. The HUD is causing crashes in your game. Well, not anymore. So a uh, good thing that was fixed. Fix a crash related to procedural textures. Again, any crashes like that. Glad to see them fixed. Fix a crash related to loading player bases. Oh, that doesn't sound good. If you did have issues in loading your player base, hopefully that's now been fixed and hopefully now you can return to those bases you created. Fix a crash relating to the shop interface. Wow. Again, weird. How do these things crash your game? But again, anything could indeed crash your game. Glad to see that's now been fixed. Fixed a crash relating to the aerial scan camera. Again, how many of you actually had some of these crashes? It'll be interesting to actually see in the comments. Are you affected by these crashes? Because a lot of these I am not getting. But again, that doesn't mean that other people aren't getting these crashes. If you were getting these crashes there were been fixed, then great. I'm super happy. Let me know in the comments. And lastly, for the Nintendo Switch, fixed a number of crashes related to memory management. And as I mentioned, before these are the ones I like because the more memory management that they fix the better the game is the more stable it is for all of us so hopefully if you had any issues then this patch will fix these issues for you I do read all your comments I do notice that there are still quite a few issues with freighters and these are causing problems whether you're just walking around in them or just landing on your freighter or leaving your freighter hopefully this has helped if it hasn't helped, hopefully patches in the future will help. It's not right that this is still an issue. I've made a video about that before and I still say exactly the same thing. These sort of crashes should have been fixed a long time ago. It's a shame that they're still there. Hopefully Hello Games, please, please, please fix these issues. We all want to play the game. We all enjoy the game, but we shouldn't have these crashes to absolutely stop us from playing the game that we enjoy. So that's it. Version 4.44 is now on Switch. Whether version 4.414243 is on the Switch, again, as per their website, it doesn't look like it, so I don't know if they are or they aren't. If they get updated on their website to Nintendo Switch and you want to see another video like this, please let me know down in the comments that you would like to see that and I'll make those videos for you. Or in general, if you'd like to see these type of patch notes videos, again, let me know down in the comments. Click that like button. That lets me know directly that you all enjoy what 
I'm doing here. So overall, the Echoes update in general, I am very much enjoying it. I really like the story elements to it. I did enjoy making a staff. I like the new ship systems management, which I actually made a video about that before the update happened. So I'm super happy to see these sort of things have been added. But how about all of you? So far, are you enjoying the Echoes update? I hope you are. There is a bit of a question out there. Should the Echo storyline have been held back to the post game or not? Having played through it, I understand why Hello Games wanted to put it at the end, but was it absolutely necessary to have that all at the end? Not too sure about that. But like I said, I did enjoy it. I really like it. I like all the new stuff. And now with further fixes on top of that, I think it just makes the game that much better for everyone. So that's going to do it for today's video. Thank you very much again for watching. If you do like what I do here, please click that like button down below. It helps out the channel a lot. And if you want to see more, please click that subscribe button as that is the only way this channel can grow. Now, I hope you liked this video and I hope to see you in the next one. And until then, thanks again.